We had an absolutely awesome time exploring Yellowstone, but we were ready to find camp that evening. After making our way through the Grand Tetons National Park, we headed to a national forest that was recommended to us by a mutual friend. We were told there was lots of campsites, and they were right, there were tons of campsites. Unfortunately, most of them were taken up by fifth wheels and buses, uh, surprisingly large RVs that had made it up and down the tight trails. After checking nearly every dead end and every campsite we could find, we eventually decided to settle with the one with the prettiest view. What is up guys? We are, well, we're staring at the Tetons this morning. Uh, we're in Grand Teton National Park. That's the Tetons. So we, uh, even though it looks like we have an incredible campsite with these beautiful mountains, um, it's a lie. We, we camped over there and this was all covered by RVs. Uh, but they pulled out early this morning. So, I mean, why wouldn't we pull over here and take some pictures in front of the mountains. Um, so sunrise this morning out of our new GFC with the side window looking out was incredible. Um, just the, the mountain starting to turn just a little bit of a, of a pink shade as the sun came up, spot on. Um, as for the GFC, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really, really nice. I'm not a huge fan of the new two-inch mattress. It is, uh, it's too hard. Um, and I'm a side sleeper. If you're on your back, it's comfortable. But if you're on your, on your side, it's, it's pretty rough. So I'm gonna have to add a topper to it. But I had to do the same thing to my tapui, so that's not a big surprise. I'm definitely glad I added this window. So if you look, the window there. If we look at hers, she doesn't have that side window. A little bit extra and it wasn't an option when she ordered hers but totally totally worth it you get a huge amount of view so with the back window and that side window there so it was nice um, and as far as setup I mean it takes just a couple seconds to pop it up it takes just a couple seconds to set it down um, Matt and I were able to fit in it with no problem what else um, I threw some lights some just LED light strips up there uh, battery powered and they worked great put a little battery powered lantern down below and had a place to change leave our stuff um, and then just popped up through the top and got to sleep so it's it's an awesome setup definitely excited can't wait for the wife to give it a shot see what she thinks of it start making a few improvements to it um, yeah so now we've got about a 12 hour day today and about an 11 hour day tomorrow um, so we're going to begin to roll back towards Milwaukee and then from Milwaukee I'll have about 11 hours home so I've got about 35 hours left in total in the next few days <sighs> it's gonna be long but it's worth it
So we're driving down the road on our way back towards Milwaukee and Matt sees a little sign that says scenic uh, view and bike trails. So we turn around real quick, this little town and decide to take it up. And we're so glad we did. The views are incredible. So you've got mountains in the background of snow. Over here, you've got like these beautiful red rocks that are striped, different uh, layers. So you got that with the mountains. You've got grasslands over here. You've got the high elevation, you know, forest there. The weather's incredible. Almost no sky, or no clouds in the sky. I, I am blown away. This is beautiful. So definitely worth the five minutes it took to drive up this little road and check it out. Um, we've got, I think when we left the Tetons, we had like 19 hours to Milwaukee. And so we're going to do it in two days, which gives us a little bit of time to check out a few, few pit stops, a few uh, scenic overlooks, whatever we decide we want to see. So anyway, um, we're going to hop back in the road and uh, try not to completely fill my phone with awesome pictures of this. See you in a bit. One of the things I really enjoy about travel is all the different terrain that we get to see. Over the next 400 miles, we saw a lot, but I'll spare you most of the details. Once leaving the recreational area, we drove just over 400 miles before arriving at Custer State Park. up guys so we knocked a few things off our bucket list today we got uh, Mount Rushmore we got a little bit of the Black Hills 
we got uh, the state park we were looking at earlier is like Custer so definitely got a few things here in South Dakota and we just found a beautiful campsite so we're in some dispersed camping area out here there's the GFC everything's popped up which took I think uh, 35 seconds um, and now we've got the uh, thermocells running trying to get rid of some of these bugs and just watching the sunset over the mountain it's not bad guys it's not bad at all so I think we're gonna get ready to make some supper chill out tonight and maybe do a little bit of planning for tomorrow's drive so anything exciting goes on I'll let you know otherwise I'll see you guys in the morning We had a great night's sleep in the GFC, and as always, it was super quick packing up camp the next morning. We had one more major stop before making our way back to Milwaukee, and that was the Badlands. This is somewhere I haven't been in a long time, but I was really excited to go back. After leaving the mountains and forests surrounding Mount Rushmore, we began to level out and get into more plains and grasslands. It was about 75 miles from Mount Rushmore to the entrance of the Badlands National Park. Once arriving, we began to see little white salt islands that quickly grew bigger as we entered the park and began to make our way up. As we neared the end of the park, we decided to stop in the parking lot and see what was going on. With so many cars parked there, there had to be a reason. And man, I'm so glad we did. I hope you guys enjoyed our little adventure. It was definitely a quick trip and I'm so glad Matt was able to come and do it with me. It would have been much more difficult as a solo run. So Matt, you're the real MVP. Thanks for coming. If you guys enjoyed this trip, be sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, don't worry, there'll be plenty more coming up soon. In fact, our next big trip, we're actually leaving the country. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks for following along.